Hello Designista! I hope you have an amazing day, it's Rose Willy. In today's video, I will share with you some tips and tricks on how to use this auto pattern making tool. It's called Parametric Pattern in Close 3D. Are you ready? Let's do it! I'm here in Close. To use the Parametric Pattern, I will go to Editor, then click on it, and then come down here to Parametric Pattern. Click on it to select. Then this parametric pattern window pops up. So first of all, I want to point out a couple of things here. We have body front with symmetry and half symmetry. Then down here, we have body back with symmetry and half symmetry. And down here, we have body sleeve and the option of off or on, then symmetry, okay? So if I scroll down here, we have the reset button as well as the create button here. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the first option. I'm going to click on this create button right here. And as you can see, this silhouette pop up. We have front and back bodies. I'm going to left click to place the pattern. All right, let me zoom in just a little bit. So as you can see right here, we have front and back bodies. Next, I'm going to share with you the second option. Okay, so we want to create a symmetry pattern with front and back. To do that, I'm going to check this symmetry box here as well as this body back symmetry. I'm checking both of the box. And now as you can see right here, we have front and back symmetry pattern. Next, I'm going to click on the create button right here. Then come over here to this 2D window and click one to place my pattern. Option number three, I'm going to create front and back bodice with a sleeve. To do that, I can either come over here and then uncheck the symmetry box, or if I come down here to this reset button, just click on it, then reset everything to default. Okay, so, so next I'm going to scroll this slide button down, and then I'm going to check this body sleeve to turn on. Then I'm going to come down here to the create button, click on it. And as you can see right here, I'm going to click one to place the pattern. Let me zoom in just a little. Now we have front, back, bodice, as well as the sleeve. Next, we are going to create option number four. Before we doing that though, I'm going to point out a couple of things here, okay? So we want to check the measurement for the sleeve cap as well as the sleeve circumference here. To check the sleeve cap and the sleeve circumference, I'm going to switch my tool to edit pattern tool here. Click on it, then I'm going to click one on the sleeve cap and then press on shift. And to the right is property editor. If I come down here, check the line length, it is 45.29, okay? Next, I'm going to check this armhole. So press on shift and then click next. So if I come down here, it is 48.84. So basically, the armhole roughly is 30 centimeters larger than the sleeve cap. So we want to increase this measurement to fit to the armhole, okay? One more thing though. Down here, we have this sleeve circumference. So roughly basic sleeve circumference is 24 centimeters. So we want to increase that from 11.43 to 24 centimeters, okay? So to do that, this is awesome, guys. I'm going to, once again, I'm going to click on this reset button right here to reset everything to default, okay? Now, I'm going to come down here. So, since I want just the front and back one fourth of the pattern, I do not need to check the symmetry box, okay? So, all I need to do here, check on the sleeve box right here to turn on, and now I can type in the measurement that I want. Okay, so let me show you this measurement right here that I have come up with, which is I'm going to increase the sleeve length to 60 and cap height to 15.7 and cap width 18, bicep 36 and sleeve opening, which is sleeve circumference is 24. So I will have this measurement block link right under the description, okay? So let me go back to close. All right, let me type in the measurement. So according to a measurement, we have sleeve cap, which is to opening 60. I'm going to type in 60. Then press on the tab key on the keyboard. And the cap height, I'm going to type in 15.7. 
Then once again, the tab key and cap width we want to be 18 and then the bicep width we want that to be 36 and sleeve opening we want that to be 24 okay i'm going to once again press on the tab key to confirm after that i'm going to click create and as you can see right here let me zoom out just a little bit and place it down here okay all right zoom in so as you can see right here, we have the sleeve opening is bigger compared to here. However, I want to check the sleeve cap with this armhole, okay? To do that, once again, left click one on the bodice and then press on shift. And if I look at over here, 48.84, now I'm going to check the sleeve cap, click on here, press on shift, and then click now 48.86 which is I'm happy with the measurement, okay? So two millimeter bigger than the arm hole, that is perfect. So next I'm going to close the parametric pattern editor. To do that, I'm going to click on this X right here to close. And this is pretty cool guys. If I zoom out just a little bit, look at all these pattern came with sewing, okay? How cool is that? So next we want to remove all the patterns pieces that we don't need we only need this right here okay so to do that i'm going to go to my transform pattern tool up here and then click on it to select i'm going to my key selects all these pattern pieces then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete okay next we want to load the avatar onto the workspace to do that i'm going to come over here to this library tab and double click on this avatar folder to open then come down here i want to select this female underscore v2 double click on it and we want to select camilla so you can drag and drop or double click to load the avatars okay so next i'm going to show you this awesome tool in 7.0 it's called 3D Auto Arrangement. So come over here to this 3D toolbar and click on this. You see this right here, Auto 3D Arrangement. Click on it. And then this Auto 3D Arrangement window pops up. I'm going to click on Proceed. After that, I'm going to click on OK. All right, so let me zoom in a little bit and rotate her. So as you can see, the back is arranged to the back. The front is arranged to the front. I'm going to click and then adjust it up a little bit just like that okay let me press number eight to see the back view and let me move it out just a little bit get it out a little more looks pretty cool okay so next i'm going to make a copy okay before i'm going to make a copy i want to arrange this pattern just a little bit better here i'm going to my key select all these pattern pieces right click and then select symmetric pattern with sewing. After that, I'm going to press on shift and then left click to place the pattern. Now I'm going to sew this front as well as the back pieces together. To do that, I'm going to come over here and use the segment sewing tool, click on it to select. Then I'm going to click one to begin my sewing and then click once again to sew to the other front piece. I'm going to do the same here with this back piece as well as to this back piece, okay? So now let me check. I'm going to press on number two here to see the front. So the front pattern is sewing together and the back pattern, perfect. Now I'm safe to simulate. So I'm going to click on this simulation icon to simulate the top, okay? Now I'm going to press on once again to stop. I want to strengthen the pattern just a little bit so right click and then select strengthen then simulate once again to see how the pattern lay on the avatar and it looks pretty cool guy so there you have it design sir this is how you use the auto pattern making function in close 3d easy step by step i hope you guys find this video useful and remember to follow me on encoder fashion thanks for watching